Hi everyone, this is Alexandra from Home Chicken Keeping. I am about to can some eggs, so I figured I would talk a bit about what I do before I candle and what I look for while I'm candling. So right now we have seven eggs that are in the incubator. Um, and what I first do is I take all the eggs out of the incubator. They can stay out for up to a half hour and be fine. Um, but to keep them in a safe place, I actually use a Pyrex and might be hard to see, <laughs> but I line it with a towel and by putting it in this way, it creates a little bit of a cushion with the towel, but then it also has an edge where it can't roll off. Um, and I try to keep the eggs separated and not touching so that they can't accidentally crack that way. But I am about to open the incubator, get the eggs out, and then, um, and then start candling. Before I shut the lights off, I will show you what I'm going to use to candle the eggs. So this is actually a candling light and I like this one because it's very easy to lay it down on the table and then I can rest the egg on top of here so it's easier for me to balance it and get a better look. Um, and then it's very bright. <laughs> so you get a very good idea of what's going on inside the egg that way. All right, so all my eggs are in the Pyrex. Um, I moved the incubator over and I was able to move all the eggs backwards um, toward the wall so they're nice and safe, they won't fall off the table, and um, they were easy to move because they are in that Pyrex. And then I have my candling light right here and I'm going to candle each one and tell you a little bit about what's going on in them. This is, I want to say day 11, so um, we'll definitely have a good idea of how many we're gonna have hatch. So, all right. So, this is the first egg. Basically means that nothing in it is developing. Um, there will be no chick hatching from it. Uh, you could see the yolk at the top. And then um, you could see the air cell at the bottom. but this egg has nothing in it. And that could be because of shipping, that could be because of fertility. Um, so yeah. So I can tell it's a little hard to see on the camera, but sadly, this egg looks like maybe it started developing and then it quit. So basically means that whatever was developing inside, um, it stopped and there will be no chick out of this one either. Here's another egg that it will have no chick in it. You could see the yolk. Um, this is actually a good example of a detached air cell. Can you see how the air cell is moving? Um, So sadly, that one won't hatch either. So this egg is good. I'm <laughs> happy we got at least one so far because one out of four is not great at all. Um, you could actually see movement in this one. 
you can see the two dark sections um, which are two separate parts of the chick so I don't know if you could see but it looks like his or her head is on the right side if I can see and you can usually see the eye the clearest that would be the darkest you can see veins um, you could see the air cell uh, much different than the other eggs. So this is a, a great example of what you want at this stage. So because that was my only good egg so far, I put it right back in the incubator. Um, and then we'll keep going. There are three left. So we shall see. So this one looks good too. You can see the veins, you can see the air cell, um, you can see movement, there's a clear view. So as the eggs age, or as the embryo keeps developing, this air cell is gonna get bigger and bigger. And that's why um, humidity is important. So here's another one that has nothing going on in it. Um, Really not much to say about this one. <laughs> and see that darker space is the yolk. Let's see. Yeah, there. You can see that that air cell is is moving. So that's that's not a good thing. You don't want the air cell to move like that. Not sure if you could see it. This one's a little hard to see it. But if you look like right about here, you can look and kind of see everything inside this egg is just kind of moving around. actually looks like. It's actually really funny when I'm, uh, this is the air cell up here too, when I'm candling and videoing, <laughs> um, I see different things on the camera than I see in person. So this air cell is actually totally out of whack. So it goes all the way up here, um, and then it, it's totally detached, so. So that one's no good either. We have one more, and this one looks good. So. see clear veins. The whole egg is darker. Um, these ones look a little bit more red, but that really depends on what color the egg is. Um, but you don't want to keep the egg on the light for too long because this can get hot. So I'm going to put that one back in the incubator and then I'll talk a little bit about the other ones. We'll go backwards. 
So those three are back in the incubator. Um, let's see if I could get a light. We could check the temperature is almost back to normal already. Um, so there's nine days left. So I'm gonna candle these again right before lockdown, uh, just quickly to make sure that they didn't quit and they're still developing and um, and then we'll really have a good idea of how many are gonna hatch. But right now, hopefully three hatch. These four definitely will not. Um, I'll just go back. So this is the thing that's hard about shipping eggs is I, I definitely blame this on the shipping and I don't think anybody maliciously shook the box, <laughs> but um, eggs are really fragile and this one you can kind of see the air so moving. If the air cell wasn't moving like this, you could say maybe it didn't develop because of fertility, but I think this one was just um, not handled as carefully, I guess I'd say. So this is the one where the air cell was all the way up here. I don't know if you could see it now. But it actually, there's a better view. So, see the outline um, around here. And then you could see the yolk. So, I took a video before, um, but I think it was hard to see on that camera. So I actually switched phones, but this red in here tells me that this egg tried to develop and then it, um, it, it didn't make it, it quit, it stopped developing. But this one you could see the air cell is shaped a little funky. Usually it's a nice smooth line. Um, this one looks like a little wavy. And then sometimes what you could see is like a blood ring. And I would say this, this kind of does look like a blood ring. You could kind of see the outline. Um, it's like a little break there. But almost looks like a ring of blood. And that tells you that the embryo inside did die. And then this is that other egg. Yeah, this one you can really see the detached air cell. But for shipped eggs, three really isn't bad. Um, it's not ideal, <laughs> but you could get shipped eggs and have none hatch. So <laughs> I'm hoping these three will hatch. We'll see what happens. Um, they could still not make it, um, but hopefully they do. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when new videos are up.